Good morning, everyone. This is Taylor, and this is an update for May 10th. Some things have really changed on the river. Um, as many of you may, may be aware of, some smaller tributary inflows have started to push a little bit of uh, lower level runoff into the river. Uh, however, we are seeing lower temperatures today as well as tomorrow, uh, all the way up to Leadville and lower overnight temperatures, which should really shut these kind of small um, uh, little, you know, runoff type uh, tributary inflows off uh, almost completely. We'll see what happens, but uh, I look for the river to, uh, to clear up, not substantially lower because we are getting a uh, release from Lake Creek out of Twin Lakes. Uh, they're getting a decent sized inflow into Twin Lakes, so they need to match that. Uh, so, you know, today is, uh, you know, our flow right now at Wellsville is 750. Um, we might see that uh, decrease another 50 to 75 CFS based on what we have happen on these little tributaries. But, uh, you know, um, this is even a good flow to, uh, to walk weight in, in many places. Definitely. Uh, need to be careful where you are waiting, but, uh, you know, we, we see flows in this range all summer, almost up to August 15. So we're used to, used to fishing at this flow. Uh, and, uh, as long as our clarity is good, then, you know, fish are going to be eating in that free runoff nature, you know, eating everything that gets in front of them. So there's a lot of different things that are fishing well. Uh, streamers are fishing well, nymphing, of course, is productive, uh, but, you know, fish are really chasing streamers, which is cool. So, um, you know, get out there and, and, and fish it. I mean, uh, the caddis, uh, you know, uh, have probably kind of fizzled out, and uh, that's usually the way it happens by the 10th of May, but, uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of different things that are that are producing right now. So the Arkansas is still fishing tremendously and, and as clarity improves, we should see the fishing um, you know, increase in productivity. So uh, a few patterns to, to show you today. Um, obviously I said streamers, so let's kind of start out there. Uh, Larry Kingry's Trick or Treat, always one of my favorites on this river. Um, just a big nasty thing. I mean, there's nothing much more to it. A lot of rubber legs, a lot of different colors going on there. Uh, nice bright cone head to let it stand out. And so this is this is a really productive pattern. Uh, you know, when you've got a little bit of clarity issue. Um, but as visibility continues to improve today and tomorrow. Um, you know, a couple other good patterns when visibility is a little better. A uh, little 24 karat uh, tan um, beadhead woolly booger. Uh, just a really, really good imitation for actually small brown trout. So, you know, fish are feeding on, on those fish that are rearing right now, and those fish are about yay big. You know, they're, they're two to three inches long. Um, you know, three inches at the most. So that's a great pattern for that, as well as just an olive squirrel booger. Um, just a, a, an excellent imitation for small baby fish and some other, you know, leeches, et cetera, that are in the, in the river um, with increased flow. So streamers, great. Throw them to the bank. If you're on the bank, you know, um, throw them downstream, let them swing against the bank, let them throw them against the far bank at 12 o'clock, mend, mend, let the streamer sink, tighten up on your line, let it swing, okay? So 12 o'clock presentation, mend, mend, let the fly sink, let it swing out, connect with the fly, and let it swing, okay? So that's kind of the deal, the presentation for streamers. Um, you know, like I said, nymphing's still excellent. Uh, you know, 
with the higher water, I tend to go to something a little bit nastier. Um, JB's Jumbo John in a golden stone coloration just to let it stand out. An excellent, excellent pattern. Okay, just a big, nasty size 6 uh, on a scud hook, big rubber legs to give it a little movement. That is going to be a very productive stone fly imitation in the next uh, few days and throughout the week. Uh, still trailing some caddis larva stuff. There's still a ton of free swimming caddis in this river. So I fish a little bigger one, a size 14. Uh, splat caddis in that chartreuse and tungsten. Definitely want something heavy right now that gets down and it gets down now. So uh, that's a great little pattern as well. That's kind of what I would focus on. However, never be afraid of throwing a big, big dry fly. Okay, when the river rises and clarity isn't so great, it gives you a great opportunity because you're not spooking fish. And, you know, I honestly think with, you know, 24 inches to 30 inches of visibility can be some of the best fishing you'll ever experience on this river. Um, like I said before, be careful wading, be careful, you know, doing that stuff, but throwing big streamers, big, you know, nymph rigs and big drives like this uh, rubber leg PMX, you know, size 10 to 12 and maybe even bigger against the bank, dropping off maybe a caddis larva or a tractor nymph, something like that, you will move a lot of fish. So keep that in mind. Okay. So all in all, you know, uh, fishing um, productivity is, is going to be fairly consistent, uh, especially as the water continues to clear up a little bit with these next few colder days. Uh, look for water levels to be in that high 600 range. Still very, very uh, weightable in most situations. Just be careful. Uh, as always, you know, this river will take you down at two or 300 CFS and it'll, you know, um, so, you know, basically that's, that's what you want to think about when you're on any river is wade carefully and, and be careful. Um, and uh, other than that, you know, throw big nasty bugs at them. You know, these fish know that runoff is coming in the next 10 or so days whenever it happens and, uh, you know, they know it's happening, so they're eating as much as they can. They're feeding voraciously. So get out here and fish them. Uh, it's a great time to be had uh, in the, the coming days before runoff. So uh, if you have any questions, again, give us a call here at the Fly Shop, 719-269-3474, or give me an email directly. Feel free to do that, taylor at Anglers. Dot com. Thank you so much and have a great day on the water.